What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm gonna give you a bit of a different one. This is how to use Proton on Steam on Linux. Let's get into this. Quickly before we get into the video guys, did you know that only 8% of you are currently subscribed? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to show further support to the channel. Don't forget you can also join my other socials like TikTok and Discord and don't forget to turn on those notifications because if you do, you can catch me when I go live right here on YouTube. That's right, I live stream here on YouTube. Turn on notifications so you can catch me when I'm live. Let's get into this. All right, so I've just reinstalled uh, Pop! OS on my laptop because I use my laptop for video editing. And I figured I put Linux back on it because it works. It runs way better with Linux. Um, anyway, so Proton, what is Proton? Proton is a compatibility layer that allows you to run games you can't normally run on Steam on Linux. Now, this will work on any version of Linux. I'm using Pop! OS, like I said. Um, and to be honest, it actually works really well. We'll get into the nitty gritty of it, but first things first, you need to have Steam installed. Now, if you don't have it installed already, I've done a tutorial previously on how to install Steam. I'll link that in the description below. Uh, once you've got Steam installed, you want to go ahead and open it, sign into your account, and then you want to go to Steam and go to Settings, and then down to here where it says Compatibility, and then Enable Steam Play for all other titles. You can use Steam Play to test games in your library that have not been verified with the supported compatibility tool. So if you turn that on, it'll ask you to restart your Steam, which shouldn't take long depending on the speed of your um, hard drive or SSD. Since mine is an NVMe SSD, it doesn't take very long. It'll just quickly reboot Steam, give it a few seconds. Really, it's based upon Steam's launcher as well. Steam's launcher can be a little bit slow at times. But assuming you've done that, you've basically got it running. Now, what it allows you to do, like I said, is play games that you don't normally play. Um, so with that in mind, I don't know why Steam's not reopening, but okay. It does do that from time to time. There we go. Right, with Steam reopened, if you go back, you'll see the setting. Oh, go away, thank you. You'll see that the setting is turned on. Now, run other titles with, and this is where you get to. So, this is Proton. Now, ideally, you want to be running it on the most recent version that's not experimental. So, I, I run mine on 8.0-4 at the current time of recording the video. That's what I've been using, and honestly, it's not bad at all. Like, a lot of the games that aren't compatible, you can run very easily, I might add. Um, but giving an example... So games like, let's say, niche ones like Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. Yes, I do own this game. Um, I bought it because of the Angry Video Game Nerd because I thought it looked like fun. It is fun, to be fair. Uh, but normally you can't play this on Linux, yet I can now install it. Now, game compatibility is going to be varied on a few factors. Um, how compatible it is with Proton? Because remember, Proton is just a compatibility layer. So whilst it lets you install and helps to make the games run, it's also going to be varied upon your hardware. Like, just because you can now install, let's say, I don't know, Elden Ring, does not mean you have enough hardware to run Elden Ring. So, what I would recommend doing is, one, checking it out on Proton, and two, checking it out on the manufacturer's websites, just to make sure that you know you've got the right hardware to run it. Now, as it pertains to Proton itself, this is a great website. So, all you want to do is go to ProtonDB.com, and in the top left, you can search for games that you own on Steam, and it will tell you its rating from Bronze, Silver, Gold, to Platinum. So ideally, you want to play games that are in Gold or Platinum. They're the ones that will have the least amount of issues, generally. So as I searched for earlier on, let's see Gunfire Reborn, and you'll see that it's Gold, and if you click on the game, it'll open up the page, and this will tell you other people's experiences and a lot of people are saying it runs very very well uh, on very different varied hardware on the right side here you can see the hardware that they're running the distro they're on the kernel their ram gpu drivers gpu and cpu so looking at another game let's say elden ring so elden ring currently looks like it's in gold now, a lot of these other games are currently, yeah, awaiting further reports before giving a rating. So, this is community-driven by default. The more users that play games and identify 
you know, if they work or if they don't, like, uh, see if this game appears. It does, and apparently it's a gold rated game. So a lot of enough people have played it and reviewed it on this website so that you know if it will work or not. But let me install a game quickly and we'll see if it actually does run. Right, I've had to um, mute the game because it was coming out of my laptop speakers, which ideally isn't great. Let's play on normal mode and skip through the dialogue. And we're playing the game. And from what I can see, it's actually running at a decent... Uh, I can't remember the controls for this game, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you move with this. Ah, Z's to jump. There we go. So it seems to be running really well on my hardware. Now, bearing in mind, I'm only running a laptop with an integrated GPU because that's what this laptop has. And honestly, like, it's not a terrible experience. It runs pretty darned well. But like I said, it's going to vary based upon your hardware as well as any other little software hiccups that Proton does have. So keep in mind that Proton is very experimental, um, but it does allow for you to run a wider, broad amount of games on Linux. Um, so definitely check it out if you want to, because it's honestly a good compatibility layer. And then you'll be able to see what games you can and can't actually run through Linux. It's actually really nice. With any look, eventually, you know, a lot more Windows programs will come over to Linux anyway. But yeah, let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please, because you guys have been smashing it recently. Don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams, because I do upload daily and I live stream most days. When I go live, I go live right here on YouTube. So if you want to catch me whilst I'm live, don't forget to turn on those notifications. Don't forget you can also support me or further on my other socials like Discord and TikTok down below. And don't forget you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month here in the UK or about $1.30 in America. I'll catch you guys in the next one.